What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing the 2024 college football schedule for Utah. I will go through every game on their schedule and I will predict which games on the schedule I think they will win. And I will also predict which games on the schedule I think they will lose. But as always, before we preview their schedule, let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Last season, Utah actually finished with an 8-5 record. They definitely didn't live up to their usual standard. But to be fair, they were probably the most injured team in the country. And they didn't have quarterback Cam Risen, who helped lead Utah to back-to-back Pac-12 championships in 2021 and 2022. Utah ended the season in pretty underwhelming fashion, losing to Northwestern in their bowl game, which was not a great look for Utah because they did only score 7 points. But I will give props to Northwestern because they did have a very underrated defense last season. But next season is a fresh start for Utah, and they will be moving into the Big 12 Conference. And they are near the top of the highest odds to win the Big 12 Championship game next season. They returned Cam Rising for his final season after missing all of last season. But they also returned 72% of production from last season, which is 16th in the country, and the offense should really take a step up. More specifically, in the passing attack, because not only is Cam Rising back, but they return Micah Pittman Jr., and they bring in two solid receivers out of the transfer portal, Dorian Singer from USC and Tayshawn Lyons from Washington. They lose Jonah Ellis on the defensive side, but we know what to expect from a Kyle Whittingham-led defense. And as long as Utah stays healthy, I'm almost certain they will be near the top of the Big 12 title race. Because that is just the team Utah has been when Kyle Winningham is the head coach. And we have learned never to underestimate this Utah team. And that is exactly why they won back-to-back Pac-12 championships in 2021 and 2022. And you best believe that the Utah Utes won another conference championship to their name. And having Cam Rising back is huge. But anyways, let's get into predicting their schedule. And they open the season playing Southern Utah at home on a Thursday. This should be an easy win for Utah. Southern Utah is an FCS school, and they lost to Arizona State and BYU last season. This is the cupcake game on the schedule for Utah, and I definitely have Utah winning this game and move it to 1-0 on the season. The next game for Utah is at home against Baylor. Baylor is a Big 12 team, but this actually isn't being considered a conference game, and it's actually a non-conference game, which is confusing. But anyways, Utah should definitely win this game. Utah beat Baylor on the road last season, and I think Utah is going to be much better than they were last season. Baylor was very bad last season, and they finished with a 3-9 record. Baylor does bring in Daquan Finn from Toledo, who is a very solid quarterback. But I just don't expect great things from Baylor, and they have took a step down the past two seasons. And I definitely have Utah winning this game and move it to 2-0 on the season. The next game for Utah is on the road against Utah State. These two rivals have not actually played each other since 2015. Utah State was alright last season, they went 6-7, and seven. they just didn't have a great defense, but they do have potential to be a solid Mountain West team next season. They have went 6-7 and seven the past two seasons, but they really stacked up on the defensive side through the transfer portal with 10 defensive transfers, and they also have a solid quarterback room with Bryson Barnes from Utah and Spencer Petras from Iowa transferring to them. They returned 67% of production, and I wouldn't be surprised if Utah State gave Utah a competitive game for a majority of the game. Because it is a rivalry game and Utah State has this game at home. But regardless, Utah has a veteran quarterback with Cam Rising. And I do think Utah should definitely win this game. So I have Utah moving to 3-0 on the season. The next game for Utah will officially start conference play. And they play on the road against Oklahoma State. This is a potential 2024 Big 12 championship game. I don't understand why people have Oklahoma State's win total so low at 7.5. Because they literally just made the Big 12 championship last season. And next season, they return 77% of production, which is top four in the country. They have the best running back in the country returning, and I think people really need to take a good look at this Oklahoma State team. I know that they've been inconsistent, but when they play their best game, they are dangerous. And they should definitely be near the top of the Big 12 title race next season, now that Oklahoma and Texas are gone. I could see this game going either way, but Oklahoma State has this game at home, so I have Utah losing this game on the road and move it to 3-1 on the season. The next game for Utah is at home against Arizona. Utah possibly has their two toughest games of the season back to back. And I really like this Arizona team last season. And they are going to be a very fun team to watch with Fafita and McMillan returning. But they also had 25 players transfer out and they lost their head coach Jed Fish. Now I do still think Arizona is potentially an underrated team. 
because the offense should still be very explosive and the defense does return Jacob Manu who had over 100 tackles last season. They still return some very good talent. I just think Arizona has more of a depth issue. And when Arizona plays the better in physical teams, I don't know if they have what it takes to win those games. Utah also has this game at home and I think Utah will avenge their loss. So I have Utah winning this game and move it to 4-1 and on the season. Following their game against Arizona, Utah will have a bye week and then they play on the road against another West Coast team, Arizona State. Arizona State really had a roster overhaul. They lost 20 players to the transfer portal, but they also have the third best transfer portal class in the Big 12, and they brought in 23 transfers. I think Kenny Dillingham is a solid head coach, but Arizona State still has a long ways to go to be able to win games again. Arizona was one of the worst Power 5 teams last season. They went 3-9, and and they really got dominated for a majority of the season. Arizona State also lost their quarterback, and I just don't expect this team to be that great next season. And I definitely have Utah winning this game and move it to 5-1 on the season. The next game for Utah is at home against TCU. TCU only went 5-7 and seven last season. But they also were very competitive last season and they lost 3 games by only 3 points. They very well could have made a bowl game in 2023 but the close games just did not go their way last season. TCU does return 71% of production though. And they also have a great chance for portal class which ranks 2nd in the Big 12. TCU hired former Boise State head coach Andy Avalos to be the new defensive coordinator for TCU. TCU also returns Josh Hoover at quarterback on the offensive side. And I wouldn't be surprised if TCU was a solid team next season, but I trust Utah to win this game at home, so I have Utah move it to 6-1 and one on the season. The next game for Utah is on the road against Houston. Houston should be one of the worst teams in the Big 12 next season. They only went 4-8 and eight last season. I do think that they have a potentially bright future with new head coach Willie Fritz from Tulane, but Houston had 27 players transfer out and they are in rebuild mode. The offense has potential with transfer portal quarterback Zeon Chris, but regardless, Utah should definitely win this game on the road, so I have Utah move it to 7-1 on the season. And following their game against Houston, Utah will have a bye week and then they play at home against BYU. BYU went 5-7 and seven last season, and I honestly wouldn't be surprised if they did miss out on a bowl game again. They rank last in the Big 12 transfer portal rankings and they were pretty competitive last season but I expect them to be pretty average again. This could definitely be a close game and I wouldn't be surprised if BYU challenged Utah because that's just the team BYU is. But at the end of the day Utah is the far better and the more talented team and I'm just not very high on BYU. BYU does bring in two quarterbacks out of the transfer portal so they should have a quarterback battle going on but I think BYU is going to continue to struggle in the Big 12. So I do have Utah winning this game and move it to 8-1 on the season. The next game for Utah is on the road against Colorado. Utah doesn't really have that tough of a schedule, but Colorado should be a decent test for them on the road. And if Colorado wants to take a step up in 2024, we are going to need to see more from the offensive line. And that means new additions like 5-star Jordan Seaton and 4-star Tyler Johnson need to make a big impact. The defense also needs to improve, but they also have the best transfer portal class in the Big 12 Conference and they bring in four-star defense alignment Quincy Riggins, B.J. Green, and Samuel Okonolola. Preston Hodge and D.J. McKinney are also big additions in the secondary. And I do think Colorado is going to take a step up with all of the transfer portal additions and also the fact that they return 72% of production. Say what you want about Deion Sanders, but I just don't see Colorado having another 4-8 and eight season with all of the talent coming in. But regardless, I'm still a lot higher in Utah, and Utah should be able to win a tough game on the road. So I have Utah winning this game and move it to 9-1 on the season. The next game for Utah is at home against Iowa State. Iowa State is potentially a big sleeper team in the Big 12. They were pretty solid last season, but they also returned 85% of production, which is second in the country. They just need to be more consistent on offense, and this is a potential Big 12 championship caliber team. Matt Campbell has been pretty consistent with producing winning seasons at Iowa State. So I am interested to see just how good Iowa State can be next season. They didn't really bring any transfers in, but I think Iowa State should take a step up regardless. This should be a tougher game for Utah, but these teams have similar play styles. And I do think Utah is going to be a bit more explosive on the offensive side with Ken Ryzen at quarterback and some of the receivers they have. So I have Utah winning this game and move it to 10 1 on the season, but this should be a tough defensive battle. And of course, the last game of the season for Utah is on the road against UCF. Like I said earlier, Utah doesn't have a very difficult schedule. They only play two ranked teams as of right now, but they really have some difficult tests on the road and they should definitely not take UCF lightly because they have big home field advantage in this game and UCF will have this game at home on a Friday. Gus Malzahn is one of the top coaches in the Big 12 and he has had a decent amount of success in his coaching career, including leading Auburn to a national championship appearance in 2013. 
UCF brings in 16 transfers, and I think UCF is definitely a team that is trending up. KJ Jefferson is a very solid quarterback addition for UCF, and UCF may only return 49% of production, but they return a beast at running back with RJ Harvey. They are going to have a bunch of new starters next season, and I think they have a bunch of guys that can make a big impact. But they also have a good head coach, and I think they have a decent amount of talent as well. And I think Utah will probably lose another game, so I'm going to say Utah will lose this game on the road. And I have Utah finish in the season with a 7-2 conference record and a 10-2 overall record. I definitely expect Utah to be a very good team next season, but Utah always finds a way to lose a couple of games, so I do have them finishing with a 10-2 record. Utah should definitely be a lot better on the offensive side in 2024, so I am excited to see what they can do with Cam Bryson back. But anyways, you guys let me know how many games you think Utah will win in 2024 down in the comments below. But that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.